Uh, this is the uh, male uh, full body uh, 3D model. There are also many other models available on the table as well. This is the male 3D model. And uh, to interact with the interface, you use one finger to rotate uh, the image. You use two fingers to drag the image around to another location on the screen. And you can also use two fingers to pinch and zoom, similar to what you use on, uh, on your phone or on a tablet. It allows so you to go yep. all the way through the model. This is essentially what angle. a CT scan or MRI would look like when they have their series of images, mm -hmm. right? Is that you're looking through these. So think about the fields of radiology, think mm -hmm. about the fields of you know, going into physical therapy. You know, how important is it to be able to see and do better di visual diagnostics when you start with a foundation like this? It's amazing. Mm -hmm. It allows you to go through the different layers of skin and organs and tissue wow. until you go all the way down to just the brain and nerves. Well, it really is, you know, educationally, you had just thinking about why is this a really good educational tool. It's not the bells and whistles. It's the fact that relative anatomy and layering and how, you know, uh, things and anatomically sit together and how they may be functionally completely separate. That's so hard to visualize in a real, uh, you know, in a real cadaver without an intense amount of work. Certainly. And so this allows students to actually start to build these 3D image visualization models in their mind mm -hmm. very early as opposed to waiting until mm -hmm. they're actually going into surgery or waiting through their surgical residency to build those models.